On step 4, I'm back on the first swatch, where the crayon was layered on the cool zone. Here I'm melting the crayon on the warm zone at high temperature. As you can see, I'm using both the flat and the narrow sides of the color shaper. There should be just enough pigment to get a thin, even coverage which would be perfect for blocking in the colors of a project. In step 5, I move on to the second swatch and melt the crayon that was layered on the warm zone at low temperature. Here there is enough waxy pigment to get a solid, even coverage. In step 6, I move to the third swatch and melt the crayon that was layered on the warm zone at high temperature. Unless I had planned for a thick layer of waxy pigment, perfect for impasto-like technique, I would have to remove some of the pigment from the surface. Remember that melting artist crayons and oil pastels is best done at the highest temperature setting. 